morning, good morning, good morning, happy Friday, happy Friday, Friday, uh, my brothers, and happy Friday, my sisters, um, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice, and truly be glad in it, I, um, I, if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, lay back down, and as you're laying back down, I'm asking God to touch your heart, I'm asking God to touch your situation, but more than more than that, I'm asking God to touch your heart, to touch your heart wherein you'll be able to see as God sees, not through the eyes of this world system, but through the eyes of faith, not through fear, not through fear. The, the world feed, will feed you fear. This world, this world system will feed you fear. But God will feed you faith. The scripture says that faith is the substance of things hoped for. And it's evident of things not seen. It's evident of things not seen. So in other words, there is substance in faith, but faith is something you can't see naturally. Faith is believing, trusting in things that you can't see, that God said is so. That's what it comes down to, is trusting in things that you can't physically see, but God says it so. That's faith. That is faith. And so that's the the uh, the topic that I want to talk about today is unwavering faith. Unwavering faith. The scripture says, in, uh, was it the Hebrews, the level chapter in the first verse? Faith that the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. There's substance. And, and there's, there's substance and there's evidence. But you can't see it. But there's substance. And when you have faith, it's unpopular. Not everybody going to have it. Just just like with life, the scripture says that um, narrow is the gate, straight is the gate that leads to life. And only a few that's going to find that. But the scripture says that broad is the gate. Is the way that leads to destruction, and many will be there. At. And so, what it's going to come down to is going to come down to, and 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 in, in the days to come, in the days to come, what it's going to come down to is going to come down to making a choice. It's going to come down to having faith or embracing fear. The seasons that we're living into is going to come down to, do you have faith? Do you have faith in God or do you have faith in man? That's what it's going to come down to. And the scripture tells us to curse it, be the man that trusts in man and make flesh his arm. And so there's going to come a decision. There's going to come a crossroad that you must make. You're going to be challenged on whether or not you have faith in God. And the enemy is going to really test you to really say, to really see, do you really have faith? Or are you just talking faith? See, faith ain't just talking. You can talk a good game, but when it comes down to faith, the scripture said, faith without works is dead. You don't have faith if you don't show it. If you're not being tried, if things ain't coming your way, that's causing your faith to be activated or causing your faith to respond, you don't have it. You don't have it because faith is unwavering faith. The title of my message is unwavering faith. faith. Unwavering faith means that no matter what happens, no matter what takes place, no matter how disappointed you get, no matter how bad things come, your faith is still going to be standing. Your faith is still going to say, your language is still going to be the same. See, faith is also a language. A faith is a language. Faith is a language, but also is, is a learned behavior. It's a language and a learned behavior. And that language and learned behavior comes from God. Faith is God's language. The scripture said that God has given every man a measure of faith. Faith is your language. Faith is the language of God. And so there's going to come times, there's going to come situations where your faith is going to be tried. Going to be challenged. See, but if you can hold on and, and stand the test of time, the scripture says, in due season, be not weary. Be not weary in well-doing. For if you faint not at the promise, 
you're going to reap your harvest. You're going to reap your promise. And so unwavering faith means that you're focused. You're sold out to what God has said concerning your situation. Now that's faith. F faith, faith ain't hanging with the masses. Faith ain't talking a good game. But faith is being steadfast. Faith is on being unmovable and always abounding in the work of God. Because you know without a shadow of a doubt, your labor is not in vain. And so doubt comes in when you feel as though what you're doing don't really mean nothing. No value to it. No purpose to it. But when you have God in your heart, when you really have him like the Bible said, like the scripture says. See, when you have the God like the scripture says, you got faith. B because, because God is faith. He's the faithful one. And so those are some of my words. There's going to come a time. There's going to come a challenge on what you believe. Then I'm just going to challenge you. Going to challenge everything in you. But the question is, what's in you? See, because the true test and the manifestation of really what's, a per what's in a person, it's going to be revealed. It's going to come out when they're challenged, when troubles come. And so govern yourself accordingly. Is that all right? Unwavering faith. Trust God. Don't trust the feeling. Trust him. A fact, the word. Is that all right? God bless you. Good morning.